Good day and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. In the uh, ongoing coverage of the civil war that is taking place uh, inside of Ethiopia, the fighting that continues uh, in the Amhara region as uh, the Tigrayan Defense Forces continue to push its offensive deep into the Amhara region. So first we will start along the uh, the southeastern front as uh, the Tigrayan defense forces continue to push along the number two highway towards the town of Dese. And uh, what we are hearing right now along the southeastern front is that there is fairly intense fighting occurring uh, near the town of Weldia. So we continue to get reports of fighting that is taking place on the eastern outskirts of the town. Uh, obviously you can see the access of advance that the TDF would need to take along the number two highway uh, into Weldia and, and this can be very easily defended. You can see the uh, mountainous terrain features and uh, the valley of the roadway below so it would, it would have to uh, the TDF obviously would need to focus on both a mountain warfare operation to clear out Amhara militias that have uh, taken up defensive positions outside the town of Weldia and then push into Weldia and that would obviously be a significant challenge. Uh, the Amhara militias uh, with the support of the Ethiopian army uh, continue to also conduct counter offensives uh, to the east of the city as well. Uh, we're also getting reports uh, that infighting continues between the Ethiopian military and these Amhara militias, both in Weldia and now we are hearing reports in the town of Dese as well. So uh, we are hearing that uh, a Ethiopian military unit uh, that was operating near Dese attempted to withdraw and was confronted by Amhara militias and uh, and they were not able to withdraw. Uh, we continue to get reports of the hospitals in Dese that are filling up with the wounded of Amhara militia soldiers and uh, Ethiopian army soldiers uh, from the fighting that is taking place uh, near uh, Weldia. And uh, what we can also confirm is that uh, there has been a breakthrough uh, for the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces along the 22 highway. Uh, the TDF has pressed itself uh, all the way past the town of, uh, of uh, Gashi Gashina. And uh, Gashina is under the control of the Tigrayan Defense Forces. It, is, uh, it has not been circumvented, but it is actually physically uh, under the control. And you can see that uh, that town lies on, a, uh, on an elevated uh, plateau. And uh, this is the current access of advance where the TDF is not meeting as much resistance uh, as it moves down the 22 highway, uh, possibly towards an eventual goal of uh, the intersection of uh, the 22 highway and number 3 highway and that would give the TDF the possibility of proceeding north towards the ultimate prize of Gondor. And uh, the, the access of advance right now is probably the easiest for the Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, heading along uh, this, this uh, main uh, roadway uh, once it had taken the town of uh, of uh, Gashina, but uh, the the obviously the fighting uh, continues. It's uh, fairly intense and heavy along the uh, southeastern front, and then that takes us to uh, what I would I would define uh, the central front, and uh, that is the fighting that is continuing uh, outside of the town of Debark. Uh, apparently, there has been a limited counter offensive. Uh, by Amhara militias who continue to control some of these key train features and in a previous video I had discussed uh, the the challenges of seizing the town of Debark and uh, this is a very large mountain range uh, that uh, the passes can easily be defended uh, by these Amhara militias 
and uh, you also have a, a fairly uh, decent population density uh, once you cross this mountain range uh, where the Amhara militias have the ability to reconstitute forces and reinforce. So that's, this is a, a very challenging goal uh, for the Tigrayan Defense Forces. Um, we had heard at one point that the TDF was in control of some of these terrain features. Obviously that uh, is still the case. We have also heard that uh, some of these Amhara militias uh, have pushed up uh, towards uh, the the town of uh, of uh, um, uh, Chir Bir Ch Chubur and uh, and Zarmia, and uh, that uh, has caused a tactical uh, retreat by the Tigrayan defense forces to reconsolidate positions especially near uh, Zaramia, and then obviously uh, further up north towards uh, May to Simre. And uh, that is the current situation uh, along the central front. Uh, again, initially the Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, made a fairly significant and rapid advance along the three highway coming down from May to Simre. Uh, however, uh, the uh, the opposition uh, by the Amhara militias has increased, and uh, and, and right now uh, this front has has stabilized in terms of continued uh, offensive operations by the TDF. Uh, I don't think within the, as I had stated in a previous video, we could see the town of Debark fall uh, within the next uh, few days. Unfortunately, I will have to retract that statement, and uh, that that is simply not the case at this point. Uh, the level of reinforcements by these Amhara militia groups um, are definitely present. Um, however, again, in other areas, we are also seeing a different story. So, the 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 possibility of a move from the south north. Uh, coming from the 22 highway is still an operation uh, that is that is underway, and uh, at some point uh, we could see forces uh, from the uh, the uh, central front uh, have to be moved south to uh, defend itself from this uh, this advance that could be coming from the south by the TDF, and that again could change the dynamic of what is occurring. Uh, in this area, and then that would open up the possibility of a possible renewed offensive by the Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, south along the number three, and then infiltrating into these uh, these very large terrain features, and then possibly uh, surrounding Debark and, uh, and and taking control of it at some point. But uh, that right now is uh, is is basically what is occurring. Uh, along the uh, the southern front, uh, the central and the southeastern front, uh, in terms of the most heavy fighting, obviously there continues con continues to be engagements um, in the Afar region uh, that is occurring. Uh, but again, however, uh, the uh, combat power uh, for the Tigrayan Defense Forces right now is mainly focused uh, along these two axes. Of advance, I would say the central front axis of advance has stalled. However, the the uh, the southeastern axis advance along the number two highway, uh, seizing control and surrounding Weldia, and then heading west, uh, is going along uh, very well for the Tigrayan defense forces. And uh, obviously, the uh, town of Odessa is is definitely. A, uh, is is uh, the Amhara militias uh, base there have deep concern about that town possibly being overrun at some point by the Tigrayan defense forces uh, as the TDF continues to infiltrate these areas uh, south. Uh, that is the current situation and the report that is uh, that uh, that I am giving at this point. Um, I will continue to give further information uh, as events warrant. Again, I try to do at least one video a day, uh, possibly more, on events that are taking place inside of, uh, of Ethiopia, and will continue to do so. Have a great day, everybody.